Right. We have new information about the embattled former MF Global CEO, John Corzine. You remember this name? He also be governor of New Jersey and bigwig over at Goldman Sachs. Corzine is fighting civil charges and has been for a long time. Uh, of course, from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. But now we are learning that the former senator might be making moves to ensure he can get back into investment banking. Fox Business senior correspondent Charlie Gasparino here now to break the exclusive details. Yeah. Charlie. And we should also point out that Mr. Corzine was a former U.S. senator from uh, from New Jersey as well as governor. OK, here's yeah. what we know is that what sources at the CFTC and people close to Corzine are telling the Fox Business Network is that he is fighting the charges. Now, he, he was charged by the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, charged with fraud or civil, a civil charge on the implosion of MF Global. One of the things the CFTC wants to do is ban him from life, from trading commodities. And what we understand is this from people inside the CFTC and people close to him. He's fighting those charges tooth and nail. No sign that he's looking to settle this case as a lot of people thought he was. Now, why is that? Because he does not want to be banned. What, what people are telling us is that Mr. Corzine clearly wants to return to the investment business at some time in order to run a hedge fund, which is his likely path back into the investment business, he's going to have to trade commodities. That's one of the things they do. Uh, so that's why he's fighting this tooth and nail. And uh, we should point out that sources have confirmed to us that he has so far in the, la in the last couple of months sat for four days of depositions uh, in this case. And he is clearly battling this. Uh, we, should, we should point out, I've talked to some people at the CFTC. They were saying that Mr. Corzine is so intent on fighting, fighting these charges that he basically battled over every single motion that the CFTC put forth, even minor motions to get to get uh, essentially odds in his favor as this thing goes forward. We should point out that if this goes forward, if it's not settled in the sense that this, he, the CFTC drops its lifetime ban, there will be a trial. Corzine wants a jury trial in this. It's unclear whether there will be a jury trial or not. That's uh, essentially up to a judge, administrative court judge. But from what I understand, he is fighting this tooth and nail every single aspect of it. He has given four days of depositions early in the year, and he's fighting it primarily because he wants to get back into business. He wants to avoid the lifetime ban that the CFTC is seeking, wow. which would make it impossible for him to trade commodities uh, on behalf of customers. So, and if you want to run a hedge fund, you got to trade those commodities, Liz. So true, so true. They, they all still have that taste for trading once they get it yeah. back in their Liz, early career. Me, can I ask you a quick question? The, yeah. the, the mood on the floor is what? Raise rates, not raise rates? What do well, you... actually, you put out a, a note earlier to right. Fox Business saying that you were hearing from traders on different floors that there might be a tiny rate hike. Same here, Charlie. Yeah. My, my you know, assessment here, and it's sort of back of the envelope, is that they're expecting a small rate only because of the two-year yield. It's right. starting to show weird behavior. Right. It's starting to go down. It's starting to go up because up. people are selling on the on the notion that, you know, short term rates will go up. Um, right. You know, listen, we should point out to viewers. It, this is kind of like predicting, you know, what's going on inside a jury, a jury's head. <laughs> you know, we reporters get what, what the jurors are thinking wrong all the time. OK, right. we should just point that out. Uh, but that is kind of a consensus that I'm hearing, that you're hearing. Yep. And we're going to have wall to wall coverage tomorrow about this. Oh, it's, it's going to be amazing. 2 p.m. Eastern right. is the big announcement. But well before that, Neil Cavuto, Stuart Barney, Lou Dobbs, Maria Bartiromo, Charlie Gasparino, Liz Clayman, the whole team. Right. We're all there. Thanks, Charlie, very much.